Guam Chamorro culture is a matrifocal culture, which is a mother-centered culture. So I think that that says a lot about the kinds of relationships we have with our mothers. Um, life revolves around mother, around Nana, in most Chamorro households, even today. You know, as, as much as our culture has changed, we're very mother-centered even today in the sense that what Nana wants, the family makes happen. And, you know, in my, in my own experience, um, mom, mom ruled, but not in the sense of uh, a patriarchal ruler, uh, you know, or a matriarchal ruler, but she was the queen. She was the, she was the queen bee. And, and we, um, we worked and, and, and worshipped and, and played and related in that context around mom. And um, we, we represented the family as mom wanted us to. And, and we did what she wanted. We observed traditions the way she wanted. And we took care of each other the way she, she wanted and related to each other. And I mean, she kept the whole family together. She was the glue. And whether, you know, a lot of our families today operate across long distances because somebody's in Las Vegas, somebody's in California, somebody's in Germany, but Nana is still the central, um, the central what, force uh, that that really speaks to the strength of that mother-centeredness, that matrifocality that continues to persist in Chamorro culture, and I think that in part links us with our cultural uh, values and traditions. You know, even though we're constantly in in a state of change and in a state of flux, but no matter how we've redefined ourselves as Chamorro people, and no matter how we function in the modern context, we still maintain that tradition, which is the, as, as uh, Dr. Antelan pointed out, the, the matrilineage, which was the uterine line. That's still a very strong part of how we define ourselves and our culture.